we are fortunate in that we can say that Lebanon contributes three core assets to the people that it delivers to us. Uh, one is they understand how to do business. That's the first key thing, and we're very happy about that. The second is they are well educated. We're not dealing with a group of people who typically all of them have been very well educated to at least master's level in, in, in Lebanon and beyond. And third is they have ambition and drive. They know how to get things done. What all the partners are trying to do is move the Lebanese entrepreneurial ecosystem beyond. And there are still some needs that are identified, and I believe the program is working on that. For participants, uh, the, the uh, main advice is that they need to focus on what is next for the projects. They have a solid position, most of them have a clear understanding of their business model. They need to get a little more ambitious, move beyond Lebanon and the MENA region. I think at a company level, I would agree. We have asked companies in this program to transform themselves. Um, it's not easy doing that, it's tough, it's challenging, and you've got to really want it. In my view, we've got fantastic companies that focus on healthcare. Um, Cardiodiagnostics is a company I think is right dealing with a very topical issue right now that's a global pandemic, it's not talked about, and they have an answer to that. Uh, right across the music industry, where band industries are tuning instruments and will be tuning instruments all around the world, to companies who understand how the digital media business works and how you reach consumers. We're actually very fortunate in this in Lebanon. You are really incredibly fortunate because although we can talk about technology being an underpinning enabler, most of the companies we meet have got a very clear focus on different segments. It's quite multidisciplinary and I think that's a key asset because if you think about what's happening globally at the moment, that is the core resource that's required. I fully agree with that. I think we get a very diversified sample of businesses and, uh, and uh, one of the learning points for me as a professor here is that, I mean, we have excellent Lebanese technology, software developers, health care companies that, you know, are world class. And, uh, and this is something that can transform the system, the ecosystem in the future of Lebanese economy, in my opinion. It will take time, of course, but this is a first big step towards that direction. Um, I think the most positive thing about the accelerator was the interest it generated. 151 applications, of which 32 came from the diaspora outside of Lebanon who wanted to come back and be part of this particular initiative. That's very positive. What we're doing here is uh, trying to help build the ecosystem and also give participants some uh, knowledge and strength to make their businesses grow, create jobs, create wealth here, uh, go international. I mean, support the growth of Lebanese companies. Um, and I think the program has proven alongside two other correlating facts, which is our uh, trade mission to London Tech Week and to FinTech Week, which is coming up shortly, which is we now know that Lebanese companies have the core capability and the technology to compete internationally. And I'm not referring to the MENA region, I mean internationally and globally. Um, we have seen uh, and are aware of tremendously exciting ideas, some that we consider to be leading edge or some that are very well capable of taking their place. From my point of view, there are three things I would ask if I had a wish list. The first is I would like to be able to set up and tear down companies faster. The second is I don't understand the conversation on fiber. I, it's beyond my capability to understand it. Um, and I'm sure there's a very compelling reasons, but I think we have to think of a global picture here and understand that that's the, that's the table stake in globality. And the third thing is, which the central bank has already done, is we needed to address the funding question. So we've now addressed the funding question. And when you fix one problem, it creates a new one. So the new problem we have now is we must raise the intelligence level and the expertise of those who provide that funding. If we can do those three things, we have nothing to worry about.